Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. All right, let's check out that forecast this evening. 7 o'clock, 84 degrees. It'll be down to 79 at 9 o'clock, 75, 11 p.m. Better chance of some of those showers and thunderstorms again later this evening for us. We'll be watching some storms developing up in Illinois and northern Indiana, and then those will track southeastward. 8 o'clock, 75. Think we'll see some dry weather, just a chance of a thunderstorm in the morning. And then 82 at noon, 80 degrees on the way at 5 p.m. There could be some more thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. Sticky night on the way. Some of those scattered thunderstorms. The heat builds toward midweek. We could be up around 90 and heat index values could be mid and upper 90s with high humidity and then unsettled weather through Friday with that chance of showers and thunderstorms. Uh, no rain, no measurable rain at Dayton International Airport today, but look at the rain we've had and some of our viewers did see some. 1.84 above normal already for the month of July, plus 5, 5 inches above normal for the summer season and for the year we're about 10 inches above normal. So yeah, it's been wet out there. We have Flood watch is in effect northwest of us for tonight. Already some flood warnings with the heavier rains that have been passing through Columbus and east of Columbus along Interstate 70. But back our way, at least right now, the weather's fairly calm and quiet, just very humid out there. Partly cloudy skies on the stall vision camera out in Beaver Creek. Some of the rainfall totals today Don Chateau and Sydney, about a half inch of rain. A little bit more up north, two tenths of an inch in Greenville. Bob Hawks, a tenth of an inch of rain, and also uh, Jason Thompson, a tenth of an inch in Brooklyn. So rain's been a little bit scattered over the area for today, but live Doppler 2 HD still picking up some of that precipitation out over southeastern Ohio, where we have flash flood warnings, even a tornado warning in effect now uh, as you get closer to the Ohio River there with these storms that are moving southeastward, and then a severe thunderstorm watch northwest of us, including Chicago, northern Illinois, back toward Lafayette, Indiana, uh, Kokomo, Indiana, Fort Wayne, right on the edge there. So we'll see more thunderstorms develop here this evening and. And as I mentioned, those will drop southeastward towards us late this evening and into the early morning hours. Currently 84 degrees, a southwest wind breezy, 24 miles per hour. The combination temperature humidity makes it feel like 88 degrees this evening. At least the breeze is helping out a bit. You can see those scattered thunderstorms around tonight. Even though there's a cold front northwest of us, never quite gets here. Stalls out north of us as we go through the next two days. Actually heads back northward for the middle part of the week. So we'll be firmly in some hot and humid. Air, less of a chance of rain as we get to Wednesday. The air becomes just a little more stable, even though it's hot and humid. Our forecast tonight that chance for those scattered showers and thunderstorms and muggy. Overnight low around 70 degrees, and then more showers, thunderstorms could be scattered around tomorrow. A high up to 85, southwest wind 5 to 15. 79, 10 o'clock, 82 degrees at noon. Better chances of thunderstorms into the afternoon and evening hours, and we'll still have that chance of rain, but only slight. On Wednesday, maybe an isolated thunderstorm high near 90. More thunderstorms Thursday, 88 as a cold front moves into the area. 84 on Friday with that chance of thunderstorms. And then perfect timing. We get to the weekend. Humidity levels drop. Temperatures drop a little bit. Looks like low to mid 80s. Could even get those nighttime lows back down into the 60s. So it looks like some comfortable weather. Once we get to the weekend, but until then, I think you'll be yeah. cranking your AC. Yeah, we just have to get there 